We're going to start by threading up the machine and winding a bobbin. Take good quality thread that really makes a difference when using a new machine. The quality thread usually costs a little bit more, but it is worth it. So if you have older threads from, say, grandma's old machine, eh, not the best thing to put on your brand new sewing machine. So keep that in mind. Quality thread makes a difference for everything you're doing. Go ahead and raise this up and put your spool of thread on it. To wind a bobbin, let's just go ahead and take the empty bobbin that came in the machine on out and we're going to follow the picture with the dotted lines for number one here. To wind a bobbin, we're going to use a small little button, a pretensioner as it's called, and we're wrapping the thread clockwise around it. And you need to make sure the thread actually gets underneath this little guy. So there's a little bit of pressure on it. That's going to help put nice even threads on the bobbin. Just take your bobbin, place it on, and again the picture's going to show you how to do that. Wrap the thread once or twice, and then underneath here, there's a little cutter and holder. You can just pull, the thread will be held, and then go ahead and slide it over to the stopper. As soon as you step on the foot control, that bobbin will begin to wind. Just go ahead and wind a nice full bobbin. I'm going to put my finger on the top of this so it doesn't rattle around so much. If your speed control is at low, it's going to wind slowly, so go ahead and put that to the highest speed. I always start with a full bobbin, unless I'm just doing a little short distance. If you try to guess how much thread you need, you're always going to run a little short. So always go ahead and do a little longer. Now these bobbins are specific for this machine. They are considered class 15 bobbins that are plastic. You can get them in metal, but don't mix and match. Keep, make sure the plastic bobbins are the ones that you get. Go ahead and slide that back. Though that size is available at most any place that will sell sewing machine accessories. Do not take bobbins from older machines that look plastic and put them in this machine. They can be different heights and different widths, and it's just not a good thing. So always keep the bobbin that you're supposed to be using. Now we'll get into a much closer video on how to actually put this bobbin in, but there are little pictures all along the machine of how to do it. First, take the thread, make sure the thread is coming off the left side of the bobbin and drop it in. There's a little groove that you're going to follow. Put your finger on that bobbin and lay the thread through the groove with the arrows. Bring it up and over. It looks like a little roller coaster to me. Up and over and down. And at the bottom there's a little cutter. So just pull, the thread will be cut, it will be held to the perfect length for when this machine starts to sew. Put the door back on and we are done with the bobbin. Next, take the thread, we're going to unthread it from this little pretensioner. You'll notice that it is not used during the regular threading purpose here. You're going to find you're going to just take the thread. There's one little guide on the back side. You're coming all the way straight down. Do make sure the presser foot is up, and it is, but just make sure that that foot is not down. Otherwise, this little part is not open inside to accept the thread. That's the tension area. So there's two little discs in there. The thread needs to sink down in there. And so we're following straight down. It says number two, up at number three, and then we're going to go over the top of for number four. You're coming in on the right side, all the way to the back, and down on the left, and it will hook right into that take-up lever. Come all the way down. There is one guide at the top of the needle. Make sure you catch that. That puts the thread really close to the needle. Now you have a needle threader on here, hallelujah, and it will pull the thread right on through. We have a separate video for that as well to get you nice and up and close so you use it perfectly every time you sit down to sew. Let's just test it out. The machine turns on to stitch zero, 00. It's the straight stitch. Lower the presser foot down on the fabric and go ahead and step on your foot control. When you see that the threads look the same on the front as they do on the back, let me just go ahead and get to the end. Touch the needle up button one time and lift the presser foot up. Over here is a little thread cutter which you can use from front to back or back to front, whatever works best for you. So then we have a seam on the front and a seam on the back that looks identical. That means you have threaded the machine correctly.